हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज रुंजय पटेल गाइज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ डिक्शनरी ओवर राइट व्हाट इज़ द पर्पस ऑफ ओवर राइटिंग अ डिक्शनरी व्हेन वी कैन गो फॉर द डिक्शनरी ओवर राइट व्हेन वी कैन क्रिएट अ न्यू फील्ड दिस ऑल सेनारियो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग इन दिस वीडियो इन डिटेल्स राइट सो जस्ट बेयर विथ मी टिल एंड ऑफ द दिस वीडियो you will get a full concept about dictionary over write right so without wasting time let's start straight away and before that guys if you have not like and subscribe my channel please do so it's my humble request right so um first what you have to do let's say we are on the incident form and uh, let's talk about one scenario i will give you uh, I, i'm giving you a real world scenario when i used to face uh, from the client they used to give a requirement right so they wanted to have a similar kind of uh, a state um, choices value on the different table let's say they have one custom table uh, they have created it and they wanted to have a um, dictionary override not dictionary override they wanted to have a functionality called uh, um, choices value similar to a state on that case people what used to do they will create a, a straight away um, new field and they will have this value created over there but just think about the scenario that is right you have fulfilled the requirement client is happy that's fine but just think about the future scenario let's say uh, tomorrow they wanted a change in choice value right so they wanted to change a choice value in uh, all the places because a state they wanted to maintain everywhere similar way right so let's say uh, in, instead of in progress let's say they wanted to have something else right and uh, progress or something in progress they don't want or they want only progress i'm just uh, talking about the hypothetical scenario right so they wanted to change the choice uh, field name right on that case what you need to do for if you have not uh, do a dictionary override for your custom table then over there also you have to make a changes and here also you have to make a changes right in two places you have to make a changes that is wrong right the maintainability of this uh, um, a state or a field is not good right you have to Uh, like everywhere we don't know even let's say you have created a uh, four or five fields similar kind of fields so everywhere we have to do it so that's not right that is not the best practice right the best best practice if they are looking for a similar kind of functionality which is already present and you have already extended the table uh, task table basically then on that case you have to go for the dictionary override right we will see that uh, um, in next video in this video is totally dedicated to dictionary override but in next video i'll be talking about how we can do a diction dictionary override for a uh, reference qualifier so reference qualifier most of the time you know that we have to apply some logic to get the result right so let's say here we have a assignment group which is giving a this many list but uh, uh, let's say we have created a custom table on that case we have also extended the task table so assignment group also over there right on that case but we don't want to display all these list so how we can um, overcome from that situation right if uh, we will see the answer is that uh, we have to do, go for the dictionary override instead of creating a new field fine so let's see how we can do so so first we have to go and uh, we have to open the a uh, dictionary for a state so the fastest way to do if you are already on the form just right click on this um, level and you will get these many options you can directly configure your choice we can uh, see the choice list here we can see the uh, internal value so our objective is to make a change at the dictionary level so i have just clicked the dictionary right configure dictionary so the moment uh, uh, if you remember i was on the incident form the moment i selected a dictionary then the table it is showing a task table right 
and it is saying uh, integer type this is the column name and the call internal value right and here if you can see here we have one uh, um, related list called dictionary override so this a uh, state uh, field has been written for 10 different uh, tables right for every table they have their own uh, they have utilized the own functionality it does a dictionary override it doesn't mean you have to override each and everything just let it be default one and what portion of functionality you want to modify that you just need to override it a rest let it be same so in the future if someone wants to do a more a modification on those then they can do the modifications right fine so uh, here as you can see here the choices for this it is coming 105 but if you will open an incident is it showing everything to you no right it is only related to incident it is showing and how it is showing if you can add over here i'm just adding a table then we will see that how it is designed right so in under the choices now i have added the table over here fine so let me just look for the incident so if you can see here for incident we have six right new in progress on hold resolve close and cancel so these are the option we used to see whenever we are on the incident form right because of this because uh table um this dictionary is at the table uh, sorry task level right and we are using a choice value for um incident correct so for incident only these many value will display which is already happening so in this video i just uh, covered this one i i, I wanted to just uh, showcase this as well because in previous video i have forget to showcase one so now objective over here to uh, do a dictionary override for our custom field uh, sorry custom table right so how we can do so so we have uh, uh, you have to come under this uh, dictionary override sec, um, related list and you can find a new button over here right so this is the button you have to click it so if i will click over here then it will present uh, this form and by default it is showing see this is under the global application the base table is task table means uh, this uh, dictionary or field is at the task level now here table is mandatory only one field is mandatory that we have to select for which table we wanted to do a um, dictionary override so if you can see here only these many tables it is showing for us right but in service now we have a n number of table we have many tables right why it is not showing all the reason is that these are the tables which has extended the task table if you have extended the task table that list will only appear over here so if you can see here the catalog task is appearing over it means if you can see the catalog task sc underscore task table properties then you can see that we have extended the task table fine so let's say if you want to do for the task what all functionality we have we can override so by default we are getting a dictionary reference qualifier if a reference qualifier here it is not applicable because we are doing a choice right so uh, let it be like this uh, override dependent field uh, if a dependent uh, um, value so if you are doing a dependent uh, choice value then you just override it based on your need i'm just talking about override attributes here attribute uh, let's say um, few attributes are there at the task level which you want to override because all the fields are not present over here but uh, if you want to override over here uh, i will give you just one a small example so tree picker uh, tree picker is uh, one of the attribute right so if we give a true then it will come as a tree right so let's say you are doing a over over doing override for location field and uh, whenever you are clicking on the magnifying glass then it should appear under the tree Me tree means like a, a parent child and then again sub child kind of a stuff if you want to do then you just make it as a tree picker is equal to true i've just given them one example 
right so similar way default value if you want to overwrite so let's say at the state level new is the default value and let's say for uh, this uh, task we have created one submit uh, or draft let's say we have created a new field and that uh, draft one we wanted to keep it as a uh, default value so that uh, value we can keep it over here similar like uh, we can do a um, calculation override calculation we have a field called calculation right mandatory read only and display these are all the fields which is present on the uh, at the dictionary level right so uh, dictionary property whatever you want to modify it we can modify it and which is not present over here we can give the uh, list down over here with the comma separated hope you got it right so this is the way and once you submit it it will uh, create a dictionary override for this task level so let me submit this fine so now before that it was 10 and now we have created one for sc task so we have this over here as a um, new uh, dictionary override so we can um, update our details based on our requirement so hope you got it so similar kind of uh, let, let me explain you the uh, regarding the reference qualifier which i was talking about right so let me just open it over here and uh, where somewhere I, uh, it was there reference qualifier right so let me give you the proper example for the reference qualifier not for this uh, state one so let me open a new um, form over here and let's say for assignment group we wanted to do a dictionary override for our some table right we'll see that which all table already so here we have a four table already uh, um, overridden right so incident uh, kb feedback task problem and problem task so let's say uh, we wanted to go for the change right so on the change it is already not there but uh, let's say we will check the other uh, tables as well so on that case what we can do uh, let me showcase you for the incident how it is designed and let let me showcase here itself for all three how, how i was talking about so in this one i was talking about say tree precursor is equal to true right so this these these are the attribute we can uh, give it uh, the value right now here uh, a reference qualifier is not uh, given anything okay and for this one also not given then what i can do instead of going for this i can go to uh, this one assign to this is also a, a one uh, reference field i'm just uh, looking for uh, the perfect example to explain you so this is also same which is present on the task level and uh, for 14 uh, table they have done the dictionary override so let's check uh, change request maybe we will check for incident right and now this time we have a uh, reference qualifier so for uh, c for uh, incident sorry change request we want uh, hmm, assigned to person whenever it will select then uh, role that person should have a itl role or sn change right these two role if they are having any of these two role they are having then that uh, user will uh, appear on that um, assigned to on the change request form let's see how it is designed for uh, incident so incident is also for same but uh, for uh, roles they have defined a different sn underscore incident underscore right but for change uh, change request they have given a sn underscore change underscore right right so for this if you are having any of this two role then uh, um, your name will appear on the assigned to and if you are on the incident then in itl or uh, incident right role if you have any then um, that name will appear right so this is the thing guys so uh, based on our need uh, as you can see here for change request we have a different need for uh, um, incident we have a different need different list of uh, um, users we want to display in the assigned to so 
लाइक लेट्स से आई विल गिव यू वन रियल वर्ल्ड एग्जाम्पल सो फॉर लेट से फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम फॉर इंसिडेंट बेसिकली वाट क्लाइंट्स वॉन्ट्स दे वॉन्टेड टू डिस्प्ले यूजर्स विच बिलोंग्स टू ग्रुप सेलेक्टेड ऑन द इन असाइनमेंट ग्रुप राइट ऑन दैट केस वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू कॉल अ स्क्रिप्ट इंक्लूड राइट and we might have to write uh, let's say that is the simple one uh, now we can do it directly over here assignment group is equal to this or assignment group is equal to um, selected from the um, assignment group basically right my group is equal to that so that logic you have to write it over here but uh, let's say um, we are looking for some complicated logic which is not possible to uh, write it over here the, on that case what you have to do we might have to call our script include and in script include we can write a logic and re we can return the required value from there that option is also available fine so uh, that one i'm not going to showcase you but uh, you can search in the google like how we can call a script include it's a very simple you just make a one object and uh, using a dot operator you can call that function and return the value whatever based on your logic and based on your requirement you wanted to return fine i hope uh, uh, i have explained uh, everything related to dictionary override and reference qualify file all this thing if you have any doubt uh, then please uh, leave a comment i will try to give the answer as soon as possible right thank you thanks for your um, thanks for watching basically and please like and subscribe my channel thank you